Hi dear children, we are going to discuss on Krebs cycle. It is also called citric acid cycle or TCA cycle, tricarboxylic acid cycle. Okay children, what is Krebs cycle? Why it is called so? Because it is discovered by Sir Hans Adolf Krebs in 1937 and he had got Nobel Prize in 1953. You know this Krebs cycle is also called as citric acid cycle. Why it is called as citric acid cycle? Because first product is six citric acid, that is a six carbon compound. And it is also known as TCA, that is tricarboxylic acid cycle. Why it is called as tricarboxylic acid cycle? Because citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. Okay, dear children, and what is the importance of Krebs cycle? You know, it is a major process of aerobic respiration. What do you mean by aerobic respiration? Complete breakdown of food in the presence of oxygen. That's called aerobic respiration. During aerobic respiration, which are the steps? First process is glycolysis, second process is link reaction, and third process is Krebs cycle. During this Krebs cycle, food is completely break down. And last process of aerobic respiration is terminal oxidation or electron transport system or electron transport chain. Okay, and next, it's a common pathway for carbohydrate, fat and protein. Now, what is carbohydrate? We know that simple form of carbohydrate, glucose, that is entered into the cell for cellular respiration. That is a major process, that is glycolysis, next link reaction, then Krebs cycle and then ETS. Okay, and what about fat? If fat and protein have to be entered into the respiratory pathway, they have to be produced identical intermediates and then they can enter into the common pathway, that is called Krebs cycle. Okay, and what about the complete breakdown food takes place? This is another important point of Krebs cycle. During Krebs cycle, food is completely break down. That is very important point related to Krebs cycle. I know this uh, process takes place in matrix of mitochondria. You know that aerobic respiration takes place in mitochondria in which this Krebs cycle takes place in matrix of mitochondria. form food is participate for respiration now we know that what is the simplest form of carbohydrate that is glucose that glucose enter in the cell and then partial breakdown of glucose and produce two molecules of pyruvic acid that's a three carbon compound that process is called glycolysis okay that is also called EMP what is EMP that is discovered by Emden, Mayerhoff and Parnas. Therefore, it is called EMP pathway. This glycolysis is also called EMP pathway. That process takes place in cytoplasm. And after that, what happened? This pyruvic acid enter into the mitochondrial matrix, which is undergo decarboxylation. What do you mean by decarboxylation? Removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. And also oxidation of pyruvic acid. What do you mean by oxidation? Breakdown or dehydrogenation or catabolism takes place. That is breakdown takes place. Oxidation takes place of pyruvic acid. That is a three carbon compound and produce two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A. Now this acetyl coenzyme that is a two carbon compound form. Acetyl coenzyme is the connecting link between glycolysis and Krebs cycle. Because of the link forming reaction, the process is called link reaction that takes place in matrix of mitochondria. Okay, and what is the next uh, food form? Now, this acetyl coenzyme A form as a result of this link reaction, this acetyl coenzyme A enter into the mitochondrial matrix and takes part in TCA cycle that is Krebs cycle. Okay, dear children. And in the case of fat and protein, what happened? The case of fat and protein, they produce identical intermediates. The case of fat and protein produce identical intermediates and then enter into the Krebs cycle. That is very important question for entrance exam and produce identical intermediates. How fat and protein enter into the Krebs cycle by produce after produce identical intermediates and enter into the Krebs cycle for complete breakdown of food. And fat how enter into the respiratory pathway. What is identical intermediate to fat? This is fat that is DHAP is there. What is DHAP? 
dihydroxy acetone phosphate and acetyl coenzyme A will be produced. We already seen that this acetyl coenzyme A and this part enter into the respiratory pathway by producing identical intermediates. Which are the identical intermediates? They are DHEP and acetyl coenzyme A. And how protein enter into the respiratory pathway? They produce identical intermediate that is known as pyruvic acid will be formed as a result of this protein how this protein enter into the respiratory pathway and what is the THL and what is the importance of acetyl coenzyme it's a very important compound okay and this acetyl coenzyme is the only two carbon compound participate or formed in aerobic respiration only two carbon compound formed during aerobic respiration the question will be there for entrance exam and it is the form of food enter into the Krebs cycle in which form food enter into the Krebs cycle the form is acetyl coenzyme that is also for the question for entrance exam and next it is a connecting link between glycolysis and Krebs cycle though the formation process is also called link reaction why it is called link reaction because link is formed which is the link acetyl coenzyme A. this acetyl coenzyme A forming process is called link reaction why because this acetyl coenzyme is the connecting link between glycolysis and Krebs cycle okay dear children this is Krebs cycle now what is Krebs cycle what is the importance of Krebs cycle I already mentioned that this is during this process food is completely break down and which form food enter into the Krebs cycle that is acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A is the form of food participate in Krebs cycle and during one Krebs cycle there is one acetyl coenzyme A will be completely break down. How many acetyl coenzyme A will be formed while the breakdown of two molecules of pyruvic acid that is two acetyl coenzyme A. Okay but one acetyl coenzyme is completely break down during one Krebs cycle children we are going to discuss how this acetyl coenzyme is going to completely break down for that there is no this types of no 10 compounds will be formed during uh, this scrub cycle and which are the different compounds dear children and we can easily uh, memorize this compound what is that so just uh, go through this purple underline. We can read like that. This is O C cis iso O C C. Okay, what's it called? O C cis iso O C C. And then next is keto. Keto. That is, we can see keto is there. Keto succinyl C C. Not the other compound. Keto succinyl C C. Fuma. Dear children, what is it called? O C cis iso O C C keto succinyl C C fuma. These are the compound which, which is uh, participated or formed during Krebs cycle. And what is the expansion of this uh, this chord? What is O? O stands for oxaloacetate. That is oxaloacetic acid. You are already familiar with this oxaloacetic acid. You know this oxaloacetic acid O A A. Can you guess where, the, where it is? That is, we know that in C4 pathway and CAM pathway, that is during dark reaction of photosynthesis, glucose in the size. You know, first stable product of C4 pathway and CAM pathway is oxaloacetic acid. We know that it is a four carbon compound. It is the four carbon compound. We know that. Okay, what is citrate? That is citric acid. C4 citric acid. And what about cis? Cis4 cis aconitic acid. Actually, this is aconitate cis aconitate cis aconitate and there is iso iso for iso citric acid or iso citrate and what about o c c what is o c c that is oxalo succinic acid okay and what about keto that is alpha keto glutaric acid and what about succinyl that is succinyl coenzyme a and what about suci suci is succinate that is succinic acid and what about few that is fumaric acid and ma food malic acid these are the very you no know, very simple technique we can easily connect all this compound very well okay after that how it is formed we are going to discuss okay what is the first compound participate in Krebs cycle that is oxaloacetic acid o a a no which is the food form have to be there that is acetyl coenzyme a this oxaloacetic acid is waiting for 
acetyl coenzyme A, what is the site? That is matrix of mitochondria. In matrix of mitochondria, this oxaloacetic acid is waiting for acetyl coenzyme A. How this acetyl coenzyme will be there? While the breakdown of pyruvic acid. How this pyruvic acid will be formed? While the breakdown of one molecule of glucose. Okay, that is cellular, that is the beginning of cellular respiration, dear children. And here, this oxaloacetic acid is waiting for acetyl coenzyme A when they meet what happened they begin to condense they begin to condense what's the carbon number of oxaloacetic acid that is four carbon it's a four carbon compound what's the carbon number of acetyl coenzyme a that is two carbon they begin to condense condensing process is called the process is called condensation the process is called dear children that is called condensation they begin to condense by using water by using water, they require water for the condensation. They require water for the condensation. They require water for the condensation. Okay? That's the first process of Krebs cycle that is condensation. Oxaloacetic acid is contents with acetyl coenzyme A by using water and form citrate or citric acid. What's the carbon number of citric acid? That is, what's the carbon number of oxaloacetic acid? 4 carbon. What's the carbon number of acetyl coenzyme? 2 carbon. 4 plus 2, that is 6. What's the carbon number of citric acid? That is 6 carbon is the carbon number of citric acid. Can you guess what's the name of enzyme? Citric acid synthesized by citrate synthase or citrate synthetase. That's the enzyme participating in this process. Okay, while they condense, this oxaloacetic acid and acetyl coenzyme condense, what happened? One molecule begins to escape. Which molecule? That is called coenzyme A. Coenzyme A begin to escape. What happened? They, it is moving to escape. Let's move from here. What happened? This pyruvic acid will be catch this acetyl coenzyme A and again trap into this acetyl coenzyme A. That is a cyclic process. Okay, dear children, that's about the first process of Krebs cycle. That is condensation. Okay, and what's the product form? That is citric acid. What's why this Krebs cycle is called citric acid cycle? Because the first product is citric acid cycle. You know this citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. The cycle, therefore it is called tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle to your children. Okay, now form citric acid. And now what happened? This citric acid does not need water. It uh, wants to release water. Okay. Release water process is called? Yes, of course, that process is called dehydration, dear children. Releasing water, that process is called dehydration. Remove a molecule of water, that process is called dehydration. And to form and form cis aconitate, that is cis aconitic acid will be formed. What's the carbon number of citric acid? 6 carbon. And what's the carbon number of cis aconitic acid is also? 6 carbon because there is no decarboxylation takes place. What's the carbon number? That is also 6 carbon. We can count like this. This is 6 carbon. And what is the name of the enzyme participate in this process of dehydration? From the substrate formed itself, from the compound formed itself, we can and know understand which enzyme this aconitic acid formed by or aconitate formed by aconitase. What's the name of enzyme? Aconitase. You know, this aconitase is an iron containing enzyme, it's an iron containing enzyme, this aconitase. Okay, that's about the second process, that is dehydration and now form cis aconitic acid. What's the carbon number? That is 6 carbon. You know children, this cis carbon, cis aconitic acid now needs water. Okay, again need water? Okay, that is called hydration, addition of water. Required water, that is called addition of water, that is called hydration. Required water, that process is called hydration. Hydration. Addition water, what is added? Same again, need the help of which enzyme? Aconitase. Aconitase helps in this process. What is the speciality of aconitase? It is an iron containing enzyme. And to this hydration, addition of water, and to form isocitric acid. That is isocitrate. What's the carbon number of this aconitic acid? Six carbon. And what is the carbon number of isocitric acid? It's also. 6 carbon because there is no decarboxylation takes place. Therefore, this is also 6 carbon. Isocitric acid is also 6 carbon compound. 
and after that what happened i see as society as it begins to think i see my job is to break what is respiration it is breakdown of food break is also called dehydrogenation the process is called dehydrogenation breakdown is called dehydrogenation dehydrogenation or oxidation breakdown is called dehydrogenation or oxidation isocytic acid begins to think oh i see my job is to break okay it begins to break or dehydrogenated that is dehydrogenation remove protons and electrons during dehydrogenation what happen it removes two protons and two electrons it removes two protons and two electrons dehydrogenation carried out with the help of enzyme is dehydrogenase what's the name of enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase is the enzyme and with help of isocitrate dehydrogenate what happens dehydrogenation takes place removal of two protons and two electrons removal of two protons and two electrons these two protons and two electrons will accepted by by nad what is nad that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that's a reducing coenzyme it's a reducing coenzyme participate in catabolic process you know this respiration is the catabolic process breakdown process which is the name the reducing coenzyme participate in catabolic process that is nad you know this nadp that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate is the reducing coenzyme participate in anabolic process can you give an example for anabolic process yes that is photosynthesis okay here protons and electrons are released that is accepted by nad what is coenzyme that is transient associate this is a non protein part of enzyme that is transient associate with a protein part of enzyme here nad is there nad catch this protons and electrons that is released by isocitric acid this nad accept this two protons and electron and how it is the product form nadh plus h plus that is a reduced coenzyme is formed now form reduced coenzyme okay and what happened this isocitric acid undergo i see my job is to break it break or dehydrogenate it removes protons and electron what happen release proton electron accepted by nad and nad is ready to nadh plus h plus and form with the help of enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase you know this isocitrate dehydrogenase is enzyme activated by manganese manganese is there isocitrate dehydrogenase activated by manganese and now form oxalosuccinic acid now form oxalo succinic acid o c c will be formed that is called oxalo succinic acid that is o c c is also six carbon this is also six carbon dear children it's also six carbon o c c is formed because there is no decarboxylation takes place now it is o c c is formed that is oxalo succinic acid is formed that is six carbon compound is formed now o c c begins to remove carbon in the form of carbon dioxide that process is called decarboxylation removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide that process is called decarboxylation that is carried out by oxalo succinic acid that is occ right remove carbon in the form of carbon dioxide with the help of enzyme can you guess what is the enzyme what is the process here removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide the process is called decarboxylation the process is called decarboxylation okay the process is called decarboxylation removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide the process is called decarboxylation okay what is the name of the enzyme yes decarboxylase what is the name of enzyme oxalo succinate decarboxylase is the enzyme participate in decarboxylation okay dear children now form alpha keto glutaric acid what's the carbon number of alpha keto glutaric acid that is you can guess because this oxalo succinic acid also says six carbon it has it you uh, know takes place decarboxylation now and what is the carbon number of alpha keto glutaric acid that is five carbon it's very important question for entrance exam which is the carbon of five carbon compound formed during aerobic respiration that is alpha keto glutaric acid which is the two carbon compound formed during aerobic respiration that is acetyl coenzyme a and can you guess what is the two carbon compound formed during alcohol fermentation that is intermediate formed during alcohol fermentation is acetaldehyde next ethyl alcohol is there the question will be there okay this that this i connect that point okay here we can see alpha keto glutaric acid is formed that is five carbon compound is formed okay now this alpha is alpha keto glutaric acid alpha in single step it will do 
two process which are the two process yes decarboxylation and dehydrogenation what is dehydrogenation that is breakdown or oxidation it removes protons and electrons this alpha ketoglutaric glutaric acid begins to remove protons and electrons that is two protons and two electrons will be removed from this alpha ketoglutaric acid that is accepted by accepted by by reducing coenzyme the reducing coenzyme is called NAD what is NAD nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is there it will be accepted these two protons and electron and NAD is reduced to NAD H plus H plus Okay, now this alpha ketoglutaric acid is dehydrogenated. Dehydrogenation takes place here. You know that which name the enzyme which helps in dehydrogenation? That is dehydrogenase. That is alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. But one more process here takes place. Which process? That is removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. What's the name of the process? Yes, the name of process is decarboxylation is also takes place here. Decarboxylation is also takes place here, dear children. And removal of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide takes place. Okay, and it is carried out by with the help of enzyme alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex. What's the name of enzyme? Alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex. Okay. Now, this alpha ketoglutaric acid in a single step undergoes that is dehydrogenation and uh, decarboxylation and produce. Can you guess what will be the product will be formed after decarboxylation of alpha ketoglutaric acid? How many carbon number will be there? Yes, you know that that is 4 carbon. Alpha ketoglutaric acid is 5 carbon compound. It, it undergoes decarboxylation, therefore, produce a 4 carbon succinyl coenzyme will be formed. What's the product form? Succinyl coenzyme A. What's the carbon number? That is 4 carbon compound. Okay, succinyl coenzyme is formed. Okay, what's the first process? Condensation. What's the second process? Dehydration. What's the third process? Hydration. What's the fourth process? That is again dehydrogenation. Next is decarboxylation. Next, decarboxylation and dehydrogenation now formed succinyl coenzyme A. Succinyl is formed. That is succinyl coenzyme. What's the carbon number? 4 carbon. Okay, and this succinyl coenzyme begins to think, I want to separate. Succinyl and coenzyme want to be separate. Separating process is called splitting. The process is called splitting, right? The succinyl coenzyme is begin to split. Splitting. Splitting with help of enzyme. Succinate thiokinase. What is the name of enzyme participate in splitting process? That is succinate thiokinase. Now, why split? What happened? The succinyl coenzyme is split into succinic acid. That is succinate. So, C will be formed. So, C is succinic acid. Succinate will be formed and also coenzyme will be released. Coenzyme will be released. This coenzyme begins to escape. Want to be escaped from here? Coenzyme begin to escape from here. But, but what happened? This alpha ketoglutarate again catch this coenzyme and again trap into succinate coenzyme. Dear children, this is a cyclic process. This is a cyclic process. Okay, now form the succinyl coenzyme split and release and produce succinic acid and coenzyme. Well, with the help of enzyme, succinate thiokinase. Now, while they split, what happened? Energy will be released. While they split, what happened? Energy will be released. This energy is trapped by by GDP that is GDP is guanose in diphosphate and inorganic phosphate is combined that is energy is trapped in phosphate bond and to form GTP that is guanose in triphosphate this GTP formation takes place in animals in animals this process takes place dear children and this GTP what is GTP guanose in triphosphate is not currency of energy which is the currency of energy you know that ATP ATP is the currency of energy. What is ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. That is adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the currency of energy. This GTP is not currency of energy. Therefore, GTP is immediately converted to ATP. How it is converted? GTP is again, no, GTP is break and produce GDP plus inorganic phosphate. Again, this inorganic phosphate is added to another ADP molecule to form ATP. 
as a result what will be formed the result is atp okay and who is responsible for releasing energy that is succinyl coenzyme a what is succinyl coenzyme a succinyl coenzyme a is formed as a product formed during krebs cycle is intermediate form during krebs cycle it's a substrate which is formed by krebs cycle this substrate released energy used for the formation of atp is called substrate level phosphorylation this atp formation is called dear children that is called substrate level phosphorylation substrate level phosphor is very very important substrate level phosphorylation succinyl coenzyme we begin to split and release energy and atp is formed atp is this inside atp this energy is trapped now atp is formed that is called substrate level phosphorylation with the help of enzyme succinate thiokinase now form suci is formed that is suci is succinic acid what's the carbon number of succinic acid that is four carbon it's a four carbon compound okay now suci is formed the succinic acid begins to again break succinic acid begins to break succinic acid begins to break breaking process is called that is called dehydrogenation we know that the process is called dehydrogenation the process is called dehydrogenation the process is called dehydrogenation dear children succinic acid begins to dehydrogenated or a break or oxidation help of enzyme dehydrogenation with the help of enzyme dehydrogenase what's the name of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase dehydrogenase this succinate dehydrogenase is very very important because this succinate dehydrogenase is present in inner membrane of mitochondria uh, that is a complex to that takes place that participate in that participate in terminal oxidation or ets or electron transport chain but that is also participate in krebs cycle for the breakdown of succinic acid for the breakdown of succinic acid the succinate dehydrogenase that present in that situated in the inner membrane of mitochondria participates very very important question the question will be there like that name the enzyme which is present in the inner membrane of mitochondria but participate in krebs cycle what's the name of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase okay that's a complex too in electron transport system or ets electron transport chain okay that is etc electron transport chain that is electron transport system is ets okay and this succinic acid breakdown or dehydrogenation and release protons electrons two protons and two proton two protons and two electrons will be released that is accepted by fad what is fad flavin adenine dinucleotide FAD will be accepted that is called flavin adenine dinucleotide and form FADH2 FADH2 will be formed you know this if one FADH2 can yield 2 ATP one FADH2 can yield 2 ATP how it is yield while the terminal oxidation that takes place in inner membrane of mitochondria but you no know, at the same time this one NADH can yield 3 ATP that is released by yeah during terminal oxidation in inner membrane of mitochondria okay and fadh2 is the question will be there during krebs cycle in which side this fadh2 will be uh, released the question will be there which which side well succinic acid is converted to fumaric acid now form fumarate few will be formed that is few is called fumarate fumaric acid will be formed what is the carbon number of succinic acid four carbon what is the carbon number of fumaric acid that is also four carbon okay fumaric acid will be formed now this fumaric acid this addition of water takes place to the fumaric acid addition of water takes place to the fumaric acid water is added this water is added to this fumaric acid addition of water is called that is called hydration dear children addition of water the process is called hydration addition of water is called hydration hydration takes place here okay this fumaric acid undergo hydration the help of enzyme fumarase what's the name of the enzyme fumarase name enzyme which participate in uh, hydration of fumarate fumaric acid that is fumarase we can form malate that is malic acid what's the carbon number of malic acid that is four carbon what's the carbon number of fumaric acid four carbon what's the carbon number of malic acid four carbon okay will be formed okay 
now this hydration takes place now this malic acid is formed and last and final step of Krebs cycle is begin is going to take place that is malic acid undergo again last breakdown that is called oxidation or dehydrogenation here takes place dehydrogenation takes place malic acid undergoes dehydrogenation that means oxidation breakdown and release to protons and electrons accepted by NAD nicotinamide adenine dinucleated and NAD is reduced to NADH plus H plus what is NADH plus H plus that is reduced coenzyme will be formed okay the name of the enzyme participating in the dehydrogenation is dehydrogenase malate dehydrogenation by malate dehydrogenase malate dehydrogenase what is the product again oxaloacetic acid dear children what will be cycle from where it begin there itself it ends okay what happened from where it begins that from oxaloacetic acid and cycle ends at the site of oxaloacetic acid itself therefore it is called cycle okay this cycle is discovered by sir hans adolf krebs therefore it is called krebs cycle and first product of this cycle is citric acid therefore this cycle is also called citric acid cycle and first and it consists of tricarboxylic acid therefore it is called tricarboxylic acid cycle okay dear children while the process start why is the first process condensation oxaloacetic acid condense with acetyl coenzyme to form citric acid with help of enzyme citrate synthase as a 6 carbon compound and citric acid undergo dehydration with help of enzyme aconitase to form cis aconitate and again addition of water hydration with help of aconitase and to form isocitric acid and this isocitric acid undergo dehydrogenation with help of isocitrate dehydrogenase and uh, produce NAD, NAD uh, produce NADH plus H plus that is NAD become NADH plus H plus okay and now form oxalosuccinic acid and this oxalosuccinic acid undergo decarboxylation and produce alpha ketoglutaric acid 5 carbon alpha ketoglutaric acid form this alpha ketoglutaric acid undergo what happened this undergo dehydrogenation and decarboxylation and produce succinyl coenzyme a and what happened to the succinyl coenzyme a we can split as a result what happened this coenzyme a will be released and succinic acid will be formed at this site atp formation takes place in plants and gtp formation in animals but gtp is immediately converted to atp okay what happened after that the succinic acid undergo dehydrogenation with help of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase and form fumaric acid with help of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase okay and the process takes place here fadh2 will be formed as a result fumaric acid will be formed this fumaric acid undergo hydration addition of water with help of enzyme fumarase and form malic acid dear children last process we already discussed that is dehydrogenation and again form oxaloacetic acid dear children okay that's about krebs cycle dear children okay dear children while the process start which are the compound participate oxaloacetic acid and acetyl coenzyme but after the process completed only oxaloacetic acid is there what happened to the acetyl coenzyme yes acetyl coenzyme is completely break down acetyl coenzyme is completely break down and what is present now in the matrix what we can see in the matrix we can see here we can see NADH yes one NADH is here again another NADH is here we know that one NADH consists of 3 ATP and again one NADH is here total 3 NADH percent how many NADH percent yes 3 3 NADH percent okay and what about other yes FADH2 is there FADH2 FADH2 where it is formed the question will be there succinic acid is converted to fumaric acid FADH2 will be formed one FADH2 how many NADH2 is FADH2 is formed that is one how many NADH three how many FADH one yes how many direct ATP is formed the question will be there how many direct ATP yes one what's the site succinyl coenzyme is converted to succinic acid one ATP direct one ATP is formed direct one ATP 
direct 1 ATP that is substrate level phosphorylation we already discussed. Okay, and what is the result? Total result 1 NADH can yield 3 ATP. Okay, therefore 3 NADH can yield 9 ATP. And what about FADH2? 1 FADH2 can yield 2 ATP. Okay, total 9 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 12 ATP. 12 ATP per Krebs cycle, how many ATP? 12 ATP is the result. Okay. After breakdown of one acetyl coenzyme, a net result is 12 ATP. Okay, and what is the carbon dioxide? How many carbon dioxide release? How many carbon dioxide release? There is, we can see, there is OCC, that is oxalosuccinic acid. Decarboxylate and release one carbon dioxide here. Again, alpha keto glutamic acid, car decarboxylate and release one more carbon dioxide. How many carbon dioxide total release? Two carbon dioxide released. Okay, dear children, that is the product, that is the result of Krebs cycle. Per one Krebs cycle, what is the net result? 12 ATP. Per one Krebs cycle, how many NADH? 3. Per one Krebs cycle, how many FADH? 1. Half per, uh, per one Krebs cycle, how many direct ATP? 1. What is the net result per Krebs cycle? 12 ATP. How many carbon dioxide release per Krebs cycle? 2 carbon dioxide. Okay, that is about one Krebs cycle. While the breakdown of one acetyl coenzyme, that is one Krebs cycle. How many acetyl coenzyme? Four glucose per glucose. How many acetyl coenzyme? There is two acetyl coenzyme. After glycolysis, two pyruvic acid will be formed. This pyruvic acid is converted to two acetyl coenzyme. But one acetyl coenzyme is breakdown while one Krebs cycle, and there is two acetyl coenzyme is therefore for the breakdown. And what is the net result of Krebs cycle per glucose? That is of course, that is 24. What is the net result? 24 ATP per glucose by Krebs cycle, dear children. Okay, that's about different points related to, that's about different points related to Krebs cycle. The question will be there, in which site this uh, NADH will be formed, which of the following site NADH will be formed, and in which of the following site FADH2 will be formed, and in where uh, direct ATP will be produced, or where substrate level phosphorylation takes place, and where decarboxylation takes place, and what is the carbon number of succinyl coins, and what is the carbon number? 4 carbon. What is the carbon number of alpha keto glutaric acid? 5 carbon. What is the carbon number of humeric acid? The question will be like that. That is 4 carbon. Carbon number will be there. What is the site of Krebs cycle? That is matrix of mitochondria, dear children. Okay, dear children. That is about different points related to Krebs cycle. Okay, children. What about the result of Krebs cycle? We already discussed. And what is the point? One, you know, how many NADH? 3 NADH. And 1 NADH yield 3 ATP. And therefore, 3 NADH can yield 9 ATP. And what about FADH? 1 FADH is formed. How many ATP? 2 ATP. And what is the direct ATP? 1. And what is the net result? We already discussed this point. Okay. 9 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 12 ATP. How many carbon dioxide release? 2 carbon dioxide. Okay. And for 1 glucose, we already discussed. For 1 glucose, 2 Krebs cycle require. We know that. And so, net result of Krebs cycle per glucose is... 24 ATP. Okay, dear children, that's about that's about Krebs cycle. I think you got the point related to Krebs cycle. Thank you so much, dear children.